Okay, good morning. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is day 81 of the Oregon Drum Project. Scratch that. Man, I'm still asleep. Okay, good morning. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is day 82 of the Oregon Drum Project. I'm working on brushes today, so I'll be working out of the DVD The Brush Secret by our old buddy Florian Alexandru Zorn. So I'm still just working on the basics out of this DVD, super basic stuff. That's it though, time to get started. The kettle is on. Levon is enjoying a bone and licking his feet at the same time, which is his favorite activity. So here we go, getting started with day 82 of the Oregon Drum Project, working towards our ultimate goal of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set today with brushes. Okay, so here I am over here at the practice pad, uh, more accurately the cardboard hunk. Uh, you may notice in the overhead shot I have a nice red circle here now outlining uh, the 14 inches that would actually be a snare drum. This tip comes from my buddy on Twitter, Commander Magnuson. He mentioned that if I don't put a circle on this thing, I'm going to get really used to these giant strokes. And when I do switch over to the snare drum, it might be a little troublesome. So I kind of have the best of both worlds now. I have the large area to practice the uh, patterns when they're new or difficult and I can really stretch them out and figure out where my hands go. And then I have this circle now that will guide me to the actual size of a snare drum and it makes it a little easier to practice shrinking down the pattern. I know what my goal is now. So I really spent a lot of time today just working on the patterns, basically. So I spent probably the first hour just running single hands in circles with the click. I'm at 40 beats per minute and I'm running the click at an eighth note subdivision, which helps. So I would run circles like this and I would start adding the accents. That's the sweep accent. There's also a pressure accent. Looks like this. So I did that individually with both hands, clockwise and counterclockwise, or wax on and wax off. Then I started to combine them, wax on, right hand on top, wax off, right hand on top. So that's how brushes are looking today. You'll notice lots of challenges still with brushes, like I'm still a baby brusher kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. That's why I'm sticking with these really strict basics for now, because I really need to work hard on getting these motions under my hands and uh, just making it habit, basically. The other thing that's been real challenging about brushes is controlling the length of the notes when I start to do accents. And that's something that drummers typically get to kind of ignore. But with brushes, you really have to pay attention to when the note ends as well as when it begins and that can really influence the groove a whole lot. Okay, that wraps it up for today. So I'm showing you all some real weaknesses and kind of uh, burying my drummer's soul, showing you the brushwork that I suck at right now. So it's been a good day. I'm happy to have made it through it. It's a real humbling moment to break down something that you should have learned a long time ago and basically start from scratch. It, yeah. It's humbling, I don't know a better word for it. I just feel like I'm playing with mittens on all the time. It's been 82 days of the Oregon Drum Project. I have been Adam Bilsing, I still am. Special thanks to Silas himself, my, my wonderful producer at Red 11 Media. If you like what you've seen and you like what you're watching, go ahead and click like and subscribe down below. You can follow me on Twitter at Dirty Bandana or on Minds, 
also at Dirty Bandana. And finally, you can get all the information on the entire Oregon Drum Project over at DirtyBandana.com. See y'all tomorrow.